कंडीशन इधर लेकर ओके पहले बताओ व्हाट इज कंडीशन कंडीशन का मतलब एक्यूमुलेशन ब्लड टिश्यू एक्यूमुलेशन ऑफ ब्लड इन अ टिश्यू इज कॉल्ड एज कंडीशन द कॉज ऑफ कंडीशन द कॉज ऑफ कंडीशन इज वीनस कॉन्स्ट्रिक्शन इज वीनस कॉन्स्ट्रिक्शन और यू कैन से वीनस Outflow. When I say condition in labor, when did it happen? To understand that, let's see a simple understanding. मान लो कि ये labor है, okay? ये labor है, okay? Labor से there is a hepatic vein and it's draining into the heart. ये heart है मान लो, ठीक है? ये heart. This hepatic vein is draining to the right atrium. This hepatic vein is draining into right atrium. ठीक है, राइट इट राइट यू कैन ड्रॉ इट ऐसे बना सकते हो टू मेक इट मोर लेवर लाइक अ हार्ट ठीक है अच्छा ये यहां पर ड्रेन कर रहा है अब सपोज अ पेशेंट हैज ध्यान से सुनना इफ अ पेशेंट हैज राइट हार्ट फेलियर तो क्या होगा सोचो इन राइट हार्ट फेलियर आई टोल यू इन द हार्ट चैप्टर इज ब्लड एक्यूमेशन हियर यहां पर ब्लड एक्यूमेशन है राइट अगर ब्लड एक्यूमेशन है तो द फ्लो हियर इज नॉट पॉसिबल अल्टीमेटली दिस होल एरिया इज एंगोर्स नाउ राइट दिस होल एरिया इज एंगोर्स नाउ मानते हो इन दिस वे द लिवर विल आल्सो बी एंगोर्स्ड सो ब्लड विल एक्यूमेट इन द लिवर यहां पर द ब्लड विल एक्यूमेट इन द लिवर एंड हेंस इट इज कॉल्ड एज कंजेशन इन द लिवर सो वी हैव टू सी What is the morphological finding of the liver in this case? To understand that, let's move to a big back. So, let's go back. Okay, let's move to a big, uh, you know, more base level. We will put constant. Make them. So, let's assume I'm taking a microscope from this area. I'm analyzing this area in a microscopic view. Well, what you know is, यहाँ पर है portal tract और यहाँ है central vein. ठीक है portal tract में क्या है duct, artery and a vein, right? डक्ट है आर्टी ऑफ एन है ये है हिपाटिक आर्टरी और एक पोर्टल वेन एंड यू ऑल्सो नो द ब्लड फ्लोस लाइक दिस ऐसे मानते हो सो फ्लो डायरेक्शन क्या है इसका ऐसे दिस फ्लो डायरेक्शन मानते हो द आउटफ्लो समझा बात को द आउटफ्लो इज ब्लॉक किया यहां पर आउटफ्लो ब्लॉक है क्यों ब्लॉक्ड है बिकॉज द राइट हार्ट एस फेल्ड सो द ब्लड इज नॉट एबल टू रीच हियर राइट हार्ट एस फेल्ड सो ब्लड इज नॉट एबल टू रीच दियर मानते हो ब्लड यहां से जा ही नहीं रहा ब्लॉक हो गया इससे क्या होगा यहां पर जो आउटफ्लो है वो ब्लॉक्ड है दिस इज ब्लॉक ना इसको ब्लॉक कर दो यही तो हो रहा है ना यहां जो ब्लॉकेज हो रही है समझो बात को दिस ब्लॉकेज इज दिस ब्लॉकेज सेम ही है अच्छा उससे क्या होगा सोचो इवेंस क्यू जोन्स क्या क्या है आप बोलोगे सर दिस इज जोन वन ये जोन वन था और ये जोन थ्री था मानते हो दिस एरिया हैड आर्टरी इसको जोन वन बताया और ये वेन है इसको जोन थ्री बताया था मैंने अब ब्लड फ्लो कर रहा है फ्रॉम जोन वन टू जोन थ्री यहां तक ओके सुन लो वापस ध्यान सुनो ये है पोल्ट राइट अब ब्लड फ्लो कर रहा है फ्रॉम जोन वन टू जोन थ्री अब जोन थ्री ब्लॉक हो गया अब इमेजिन करो आई एम जोन वन एंड यू आर जोन थ्री सोचो बात को मैं आपके मोबाइल के अंदर हूं ना आप सोचो कि मोबाइल के अंदर जोन वन है और आप जोन थ्री हो एंड आई एम हैविंग दिस पाइप एंड दिस पाइप ऑफ दिस पाइप आई एम पुटिंग द ब्लड टूवर्ड्स यू आई एम पुटिंग द ब्लड टूवर्ड्स यू एंड नॉ जस्ट इमेजिन कि आपने क्या किया यू आर जस्ट ब्लॉकिंग दिस पाइप ब्लड इज नॉट एबल टू रीच यू आप तक ब्लड नहीं आ रहा इमेजिन करो क्या होगा द ब्लड इज नॉट एबल टू मूव हियर आई ग्री That means, if I ask you, if I ask you, the initial ischemia, the most initial ischemia will occur to which area? Remember one thing: you have to write this, answer this in the in the uh, in the book. Also, you have to write this in the book. Also, you have to write this in the book. Also, you have to write this in the book. Also, you have to write this in the book. Also, you have to write this in the book. Also, you have to write this in the book. Also, you have to write this in the book. Also, you have to write this in the book. Also, you have to write this in the book. Also, you have to write this in the book. Also, you have to write this in the book. Also, you have to write this in the book. Also, you have to write this in the book. Also, you have to write this in the book. Also, you have to write this in the book. Also, you have to write this in the book. Also, you have to write this in the book. Also, you have to write this in the book. Also, you have to write this in the book. Also, you have to write this in the book. Also, you have to write this in the book. Also, you have to write this in the book. Also, you so zone 3 will have the first level of ischemia because yahan par artery hai aur yahan par vein hai 
सो क्या होगा दिस एरिया हियर दिस होल एरिया हियर विल हैव द इनिशियल ब्लॉकेज सो क्या होगा इन एक्यूट प्लीज नंबर इन एक्यूट इन एक्यूट वीनस कंडीशन इन एक्यूट वीनस कंडीशन मतलब इन इन अवे एक्यूट राइट हार्ट फेलियर इन अवे एक्यूट हार्ट फेलियर यू विल सी इश्कीमिया अकरिंग इन द जोन 3 देयर इज इश्कीमिया अराउंड जोन 3 एंड हेंस यू विल फाइंड व्हाट रिवर्सिबल इंजरी अराउंड जोन 3 and you all know from general pathology because i have talked to general pathology already that reversible injury will show you what reversible injury will show you what reversible injury will show you what it will show you what is called as hydropic change so hence you'll find hydropic change around zone 3 now this is the most important point that you must remember you will find hydropic change around the zone 3 you will see hydropic change around the zone 3 ischemia hua usse reverse injury hua aur usse kya hua hydropic change around zone 3 so just put this information in your head and imagine how will that microscopy look like and i'll show you what do you think it should look like dekho kya hai this whole thing is central vein ye central vein hai और ये देखो, what is this? This what is called as hydropic change. क्यों hydropic change? देखो, cell swelling, cloudy swelling, chromatin condensation. Exactly यही पढ़ा था हमने. Cell swelling, chromatin condensation, and look at the cloudy swelling. मतलब the clear cytoplasm. And hence we call this, hence we call this hydropic change around central vein. इसको नाम दोगे. This called as Hydropic change around central vein, so centrilobular hydropic change. It is seen in the acute, acute case of the acute case of the heart failure. Achha. Let's assume this heart failure is going for the long time. The heart failure is for long time. Ab isko dekho. Same thing hai. Pole right or central vein. A blood flow kar aise. The how the blood is flowing. Ab kya hua? This area has a blockage. Ye blockage hai. And this blockage is for a long, long time, maybe because of a chronic heart failure. Chronic right heart failure, this blockage is over. And blood is not at all going there. You told me, this area will have the initial ischemia. I agreed. What was before? Hydropic change. Now what will happen? Necrosis. This is a bolt ride. This is a bolt ride. Okay? And this is the central vein. Okay? Now this whole area is blocked. Whole area is blocked. Whole area is blocked. This whole area is blocked. Artery, and you all know the duct and the venous so and blood is flowing to this area as blood is flowing this area as to the sinusoids up here this area is blocked to kya the 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 sinusoids will get dilated as sinus will get dilated as so entire blood will start accumulating this area the blood will accumulate in this area but the problem is Please understand, please listen to me one more, one more time. The problem is, the blood is not flowing. Without a blood flow, can this area get oxygenated blood? The blood is not flowing. So without this blood flow, can this area get oxygenated blood? No. And therefore, the hepatocyte will get necrosed. Hepatocyte will get necrosed here. All around them, there will be hepatocyte necrosis. This all is showing you, the hepatocyte, hepatocyte necrosis. The blood is not flowing from this side. Please understand that. There will be hepatocyte necrosis. The entire area will become more and more pinkish. As you all know, increase eosinophilia is seen in necrosis area. This whole area becomes completely pinkish. And at this part, please understand, at this part, there is more and more pressure. There is a increased pressure developing. Why more pressure? Because, just imagine one thing, I am putting the blood towards you and you have blocked that pipe. So, back pressure say, the area around me will have high pressure. The pressure will cause mechanical damage, mechanical damage to hepatocytes. Remember, not ischemic damage, only mechanical damage. Not ischemic damage, only mechanical damage. Not ischemic damage, only mechanical damage.
mechanical damage, no ischemic damage. And because of this, what will happen? Because of this, there will be fibrosis. This whole area will show you a fibrosis area. This whole area will show you fibrosis. So, what are you seeing? What you are seeing is around zone 3, around zone 3, there is hepatocyte necrosis and sinusoidal dilatation. Okay? Around zone 1, you are seeing periportal fibrosis. You are seeing periportal fibrosis. Some of you Listen to me carefully. Around zone 3, you can see dilated sinusoids and hepatocytes are getting necrosed. This whole area here, this whole area here, this whole area, this whole area will appear red. And around this area, it will appear white. Why? Because of fibrosis. All the area around zone 3 will appear red. All the area around zone 1 will appear white. So simple samjo. I am zone 3 and you are zone 1. So I am zone 1, you are zone 3. I am artery and you are vein. You are central vein. I am hepatic artery. I am putting the blood towards you. Now you block the entry. The pipe around you will dilate. This is called sinusoidal dilatation. Now so area around me has no ischemia because I am the method artery. How will artery have ischemia? So, area around me will have mechanical increased pressure causing fibrosis. So, all the area around me, where I am, I am zone 1, hu, area around me will be having fibrosis. Area around you will have necrosis. Area around me will appear white. Area around you will appear red. This will be seen entirely throughout the liver. So, what happens this entire liver, this whole liver, hai, entire liver will be looking like this. This liver, mein, जहां जहां आप देखोगे जोन 3 वो रेड दिखेगा और जहां जहां देखोगे जोन 1 वो वाइट दिखेगा पूरा लिवर कैसा दिखेगा वो ऐसा दिखेगा वाइट सॉरी रेड वाइट रेड वाइट रेड वाइट रेड वाइट रेड वाइट एंड सो ऑन इस पूरे लिवर में दिखेगा इस तरह कलर रेड वाइट रेड वाइट एंड सो ऑन दिस हाउ द एंटायर लेवल विल लुक लाइक इट इज लुक एज रेड वाइट एंड सो ऑन दिस रेड कलर एंड वाइट कलर रेड एंड वाइट रेड एंड वाइट लाइक दिस you can draw this white color if you want to. This is how the entire level will look like. The entire level will be composed of red and white. In fact, you can judge. Jaha par bhi dikh raha hai aapko red. Wo sara kya hai? Wo hai ye wala area. Aur jo bhi zone 1 hai, wo dikha white color area yaha par. Red, white, red, white, red, white, red, white and so on. Imagine how the level look like. Dekho ek image. This is what is? That is on the sides. So you will say this area is zone 3. Now, how will the liver look like? Now, this image. Ko beautiful, isn't it? So beautiful is the image. Red, red, white, red, white, red, white, red, white, red, white, and so on. Dekhe red, red, hai, white, hai, red, hai, white, hai, red, hai, white, hai, like this. This entire liver has changed to a red and white color. This will mimic or look like this. What is called as nutmeg, jaipal. Jaipal dekha hoga apne? Red, white, red, white, red, white, red, white and hence called as a nut meg liver. Isn't pathology the most beautiful subject? Have you, will, you, will you ever come across a subject which is as beautiful and as colorful as this? Tocho jara. The best subject in your entire life would be pathology. 